Hello and welcome back. So Friday guys, finally we are almost there, okay? Hanging in there for another day. I can't wait for this weekend. I actually, I like, today's actually today's Friday, yes. Anyway, finally, I'm glad you guys are joining us this morning. So this morning, I'm gonna try one more time on my bottomless portal filter, okay? So ever since I replaced with a up, new upper burr, I was hoping we're gonna get a good shot out of it, but you know what? You saw the video yesterday morning. There's no luck. I know a lot of you give me some great tips. So I'm gonna put everything, all the tips together. Let's try that again this morning. So I'm gonna use my built-in grinder and then I'm gonna, uh, I know some of you Quinn, why don't you increase your dosing to 18 gram? Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna measure out exactly 18 gram. And then, by the way, I did change my in, uh, inner burr setting because the default setting on the upper burr is number six. I go down to number five because, and the, with the number, number six, I was, I was getting a decent shot around the outside grinder setting around four or five. Personally, I don't like that. So I'm hoping I'm going to go down to the inner bird lower, which means I can actually increase the outside bird setting a little higher. So I'm gonna try that as well. So right now my current setting is at number five outside and the inside I set at number wait, at five and five. So yeah, so let's, I'm gonna do this thing out 18 gram. So here we go. Let's try that again. Hopefully we're gonna get a decent shot this morning. Okay. I'm just gonna around 18.5 gram here, so let's see. Make sure I got everything out. Do you, did you hear that high pitch sound? I think that's normal, I think. I got 17.7, about 17.8 gram. I think, I think I'm gonna stick with the 17.8. So let's try. So here's what I'm gonna do, okay? Because I wanna flop, uh, flop out the, my, grind, uh, my coffee ground. So I'm just gonna use my 3D dosing funnel. I'm just gonna dump it in. I'm just going to make sure everything's all fluffy. Okay. And then I'm gonna even use my paper clip to make sure everything is all nicely declump everything. Okay. Looks pretty good so far. You know what? I'm gonna use my San Anthony distribution tool. Okay. Here we go. And then this time I usually use my levy, levy for this. Just uh, this is a palm uh, tamping tool, but I'm not gonna use that. I'm just gonna use uh, their tamping tool. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a good firm temp, just straight down, okay? So let's flush out the group head. So this one, let's see, I have what, around, just under 18 grams, so I'm trying to shooting for around 35, 36 gram here. Okay, get my scale ready. Okay. 
Okay, come on. I know this is somewhat tedious process, but needs to be done at the moment. Okay. Here we go. Again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the angle of the camera so you guys can see it better. Okay. Okay, here, maybe. I'm going to put some light on here. Okay. That's, I think, yeah, there it, that'll work. Okay, guys, here we go. I'm looking for 35 grams. I see some channeling there to the end. Yep, now it's channeling. Now we have 35, man. Goodness. So, as you can see, we're still having issues with the channeling. So, if you guys have any suggestion, please leave me on the comment. Uh, let me know. So, so far we increased the uh, let's see the uh, the dosing amount and what else I use the distribution tool from San Anthony so I mean that San Anthony is the distribution distribution tool is good as you get and uh, we have the brand new burr inside so it's not the burr so could be the possibly the the beans uh, let's see this one I uh just eight fifteen, so it's about two weeks old, but I've been using it every day. So could be the beans. I'm not sure, but you know what? Let's try this anyway. But as long as we have a good tasting espresso, I mean that's only matters. But still, cheers. It's really good. Okay, they're fantastic. But again, you know what? Tell you what, let's do, do one more shot, okay? I'm gonna open up brand new bag and then see what happens there. So I have a brand new bag from, let's say, Good Brothers Coffee. It's about only about, it's brand new. He just roasted on September 10th. So two weeks old is a brand new and Hopefully we're gonna get a better result out of it. We'll see. I'm gonna say though all the settings same. I'm just gonna flush out. Okay, just clean up some space here. By the way, I hope you guys are having a great day so far. I know I don't know where you guys at, but. It's about eight o'clock in the morning in Tucson here. Okay. So let's give it a shot. I think this is the, the, the fun of making coffee, okay? You have to always tweak it. I mean, you have to always tweak it to get the best shot possible, so. Okay, I'm gonna dosing out around 18 gram here. It's about 20. Since this is brand new bag, I'm going to, even though uh, I'll do single dosing at a time, but you still have all beans inside. I'm just gonna purge it out a little bit. Just put a handful of beans in it. Just purge. The 
it sounds really, really weird, isn't it? Did you hear that? That wing, whining sound? Let's try again. I, I, I don't know the high pitch noise that is. That's something I have to take a look at it later, but yeah. Okay. Just gonna get the coffee. Get everything out here. Okay. I'm just gonna use dosing funnel one more time. I'm just gonna make sure everything is all nice and fluffy before I temp. Okay. Still, you see the, a, lot, a lot of clumps inside. Yeah. So that's the one downside of just the built-in grinder. It's, it does a decent job, but you know, it's not as good as not like niche grinder, so. Okay. That's good enough here. Let's try one more time. There we go. Just give it a good temp. Flush. So again, I'm looking for around 36 gram, 30, yeah. Let's try that one more time. Okay, I'm gonna change the angle for you. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, here we go. I got some little light on the back. Okay, so this is uh, newer beans with uh, exactly the same setting. I think we got it, guys. This one looks a lot better than last time. So only thing I changed, as you can see from there, just the, the fresh, the fresh bag, okay? It's, I mean, you can see from there, very, the, the tiger strip, very dark, give you a very rich flavor. So let's, uh, let's try this one and then, and the I say, you know, I saw minor channeling, even that, and it wasn't too bad. So let's try. So tasting note is cinnamon, nutmeg, and vanilla for this. So uh, it's called India Morsel Nugget. Okay. Cinnamon nutmeg and vanilla okay so i'm just gonna mix it well here cheers wow Def i can definitely taste the nutmeg for sure and vanilla like after they're fantastic guys this is really good it's, it's not bad, but the cinnamon taste, I, I think I can taste the cinnamon in the beginning. So I think, I think we got it this time. I mean, I think this is good as get, okay? 
uh, comes to built-in grinder has a lot of limitation there so I mean I'm pretty happy with the shot I just got so only thing I did was the uh, fresh beans and then the brand new uh, pretty much fresh beans as possible and then I changed the inner burr uh, setting and what else uh, I used the better distribution tool but I don't I think it may it may not be matters but uh, we'll see okay so the name of coffee is India Morsor Nuggets okay I, I think this is like I talked to the good brothers so this is kind of like their sample package so uh, make sure to check it out okay check out his website I'm gonna put their link down below I mean he's uh, pretty nice to us you know so he usually give us 25% off so definitely worth it checking into so for tomorrow okay tomorrow morning if you guys are around about the same time around eight o'clock in the morning I'm gonna do live comparison between Nish and my Maserati Mini because my Maserati Mini I just upgrade not the upgrade I replaced to brand new burr uh, I modify with a single dosing uh, modification is done so it's gonna be somewhat comparable comparison tomorrow morning so I'm really looking forward to share that with you tomorrow morning if you guys are around just make sure show up and then uh, what else uh, so that's the big one um, I'm kind of a little nervous about it because especially doing live there's no you know sometimes I can edit out you know the parts that you know take too long but I like to show you the whole picture of the entire process comparing it and then uh, the niche and mother it's kind of like apple to orange comparison even though very similar but niche is conical burr okay conical burr same as this one at the uh, uh, built-in grinder here uh, from Brista Express and Mazar Mini is like uh, that's flat burr so it's gonna be, I don't know I, I think flat burr is known for better espresso but we'll see how it goes tomorrow okay and then let's see Someone asked me, have you found a photo uh, filter basket for Bravo? You know what, guys? I reach out to everybody. I reach out to VST. VST makes a uh, filter basket as well. And I also reach out to IMS and both. Uh, I have not heard from them. And also, they don't sell it. And so if anyone knows, uh, upgrade a filter basket please let me know okay I'd like to share that with everybody because this filter basket is not the best okay so this is kind of like they just put uh, put something together on their uh, workshop in China I think so it's not the best okay so I mean if you guys can find somebody please let me know I think uh, one of my viewer also mentioned to me you can actually upgrade uh, this uh, spout okay to something nicer uh, I forgot your name but you know who you are I'm gonna shout out to you uh, next time and anyway so you can actually replace the spout you can get a new one so instead of going like this some of them mount something like that okay and then just come out you know just you, you're gonna see the entire flow nicely so uh, I was thinking about getting one as well. It's, it's not that expensive. It's you know like 15, 20 bucks at the most. So I know it's somewhat pricey for a tiny piece of metal, but I don't know. I think it's worth checking out as well. So I'm gonna be doing that soon. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a great day and hope to see you guys tomorrow morning. Okay. Uh, make sure don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well.